Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another LeetCode question, Valid Perfect Square. Okay, so let's understand what the problem is asking. So we are given a number here, and we need to find out if it's a perfect square or not. And we're not allowed to use any built-in functions like square root, um, because that would be very easy. We just find if it's a square root of something and then return the answer. Um, okay, so for example, if we're given a 25, we would return true because this is a perfect square, 5 times 5. Um, and if we're given a number that's not a perfect square, we just need to return false. Great, so let's look at some ways we can solve this problem. Well, the first solution that came to my mind is just to iterate from uh, 1 up to n. So let's say our n is 25, and then at each point take the square. So 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, and then compare if this is equal to our input or not. So 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, and 5 square is 25. So when we find that match, we can just go ahead and return true. Now, this is not the most optimal solution, um, as we would do O of n operations here or O of n over 2. And why do I say that? That's because we need to observe that um, if we are looking for the perfect square of this number, it cannot be more than half of the value. So let's say our input is 16, and the maximum we can have um, as our square root is half of this length because if you go um, beyond this you won't be able to it will be higher than um, our input so there is no possible way that we can actually um, find the square root of the number when it's higher than n over 2 so that's one observation we need to make and you can try this out yourself. You can go through each of the elements and see, okay, um, is it possible to do this? And it's not because it needs to be half of our n size. So that's the first observation. And then the second observation we can make is, well, this, this input, if we take from our um, first point to our n over 2, this is a sorted array. And what is the what is one of the most optimal ways to search in a sorted array? And the answer is binary search. And that's exactly what we need to do here to solve this problem in the most optimal way. OK, if you haven't done binary search before, I recommend you do a few examples before trying out this problem because it will be easier for you to understand. Also, if you want me to do a separate video just on binary search, then let me know in the comments below and I can uh, organize that video just focusing on binary search. Okay, back to this problem here. So in binary search, we know we need to have a left and we will have our right. So our right index is going to be our n over 2 index because um, our answer cannot be... Uh, higher than this rightmost index. And if we take this array, our um, mid will be 4 here, right? So, so this is our mid. Now what we need to do is each time we find a mid, we need to square it and see if the answer is our input. And it's just as simple as that. So here we would take Four and then 4 square equals 16 and we can just go ahead and return true um, and let's take an example where uh, we need to return false so if we're, if we're given an input of 10 our left would be here our right would be here and then we would have our mid over here so well we can see that um, 3 is actually less than our target which is um, so 3 square is 9 is less than our target 10 so we need to move our mid over. So we will say the next mid is 4, and then 4 is four square is 16. So that is greater than our um, input, right? So we would just return a false in this case. It would just not um, return true because we didn't find uh, a case where our mid 
is equal to our mid square or our mid times mid is equal to our target. Okay. So to review, what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, make our upper bound n over 2 because we can't find a case where um, we iterate over the entire array and the last element is the square of itself, like 16 square is not going to be 16. And the second thing we need to apply is binary search. So if all of this makes sense, then we can go ahead and look at the code. Great, so I'm back in leak code and what I've done is I've initialized our left to one because we are going to start our index from one in this case. And our right is going to be our num over two and I've taken the ceiling function of that because um, if we have an input one, we need to take the higher value of that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, just start with a regular, the same way we'll do a regular binary search. So while left is less than equal to right, what I want to do is calculate my mid. So I'm going to do mid equals, um, we need to take left plus right and take um, divide by two and take the floor function of that. So this is how you would do that in Python. And then what we need to do is find um, the target we are looking for to compare. So that is our square. So this is our mid square, so we can say square equals mid times mid. Okay. And then we just need to check if this square is equal to our target num. So if square equals num, well, in that case, we can just go ahead and return true. Okay. Else, we need to. Um, control our boundaries. So if the square is less than num, then we need to adjust our left side. So left equals mid plus one. And else we need to adjust the right side. So else right equals mid minus one. And if we can't find the number, then what we're going to do is go ahead and return false. Okay, so let's run code. Okay, we have a runtime error. Okay, there is a typo, so we need to say num, not nums here. Okay, run code. Okay, great. So my answer is the expected answer. And then I will go ahead and submit. Awesome, accepted. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. All right, happy coding, guys.